carbon tax could cost each farmer $150,000 per year. And that's before the next second carbon tax comes next month. This tax on tax on tax drives up the cost of food production. Yeah. It's simple math. If it costs a farmer more to grow food, it's going to cost Canadians more to feed their families. And it's going to put the future of our Canadian farms at risk. No farms, no food, Mr. Speaker. So will this government give Canadians a break and axe their carbon taxes? Yeah. 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 The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In this country, rage farming is not an agricultural policy. On this side of the House, we believe in investing in farmer. We've invested $500 million right. to support our agricultural sector. We've invested almost a billion dollars to support farmers' transition as they buy new equipment to lower their carbon footprint, footprint Mr. Climate change is real. We, in 2021, 30% of grains didn't make it to market. On that side of the house, they still don't have a climate plan. That's right. The Honourable Member for Lambton Kent. Speaker, you can't fight fires with inflation. Order. The Honourable Member for Lambton Kent from the top, please. Thank you. Well, Mr. Speaker, you can't fight fires with inflation. This Liberal government's inflation is causing the cost of food and groceries to skyrocket. Farmers pay carbon tax to get their crops from the field to their warehouse, from the warehouse to the grocer's warehouse. Then the grocers pay carbon tax to get the food to the grocery store. And then families pay carbon tax to drive to the grocery store to buy their food. This tax on tax on tax, it never ends, and it's increasing the cost of our food. There's no common sense in this. So when will this government ax their carbon tax? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary and Minister of Agriculture. Mr. Speaker, as the Honourable Member knows, farm fuel are exempted from any price on pollution. As the Honourable Member knows, and I would encourage her to speak to canola farmers, as she would know that the clean fuel standard is great for farmers. We started, I, I'm going, I, we, we were doing so well. We're doing so well. I'm just going to ask everybody to take a deep breath. Order. 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 Now, let's all listen to each other, not while we're shouting, but just while one person is speaking, and then one person will ask a question, one person will answer. That's the way it's supposed to work. The Honourable uh, Parliamentary Secretary from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, a noisy plan is not a climate plan. <laughs> we believe on this side of the House that farm fuel should be exempted on farms, and they are, Mr. Speaker. We also believe that the clean fuel standard will bring great opportunities for farmers, and especially canola farmers. I would encourage the members on the other side, especially out west, to have a conversation with the canola growers and see if they're supportive of this particular policy, because they are. Exactly.